Welcome to Retro Rivals, a new Yu-Gi-Oh! series where we duel with the recently re-released Yu-Gi-Oh! Retro Pack. It's full of all the best cards from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Golden Age, complete with the iconic anime monsters and powerful staples of all different rarities. Every week, we'll each open a new Retro Pack mini box that's four packs and use the cards inside to craft our own decks. That also means our decks will get stronger every week, from awkward strategies to custom-built powerhouses. The first duel to take five rounds is the winner. Also, by the way, guys, before we get into it, I had to really trek through the elements today to get these, these boxes. So uh, yeah, these sell out really fast apparently. It's actually really hard to get them. So uh, it's, it's been difficult to film this series, but we did it because we care and we know you guys like it. So uh, thumbs up, it helps, it goes a long way. All right guys, time to bust open my retro pack for episode three. As soon as I, as soon as I fight the plastic, which is, the, which is harder than beating Paul, I swear. I swear. Plastic isn't my worst enemy, but it kind of is. All right. Four packs. I wonder if there's a secret rare, if there is. Uh, I hope it's the, I want the Cyber Harpy because it's an 1800 level four. Fisher, I finally got, I finally got one. <sighs> So, guys, you have no idea how happy this makes me. Just having some on-demand removal. This is definitely going into my deck. Time Wizard is a super rare. Ooh, this is this could this is basically a dark hole if you're lucky. I mean. That's pretty good. And a target for Shining Angel. <gasps> Secret rare copycat again. <laughs> Golly, I, cool. I mean, yeah, copycat's cool. And I have two, so. I'm probably gonna be playing my light engine more now. That feels likely. Oh, ultra rare red eyes, black dragon. I love this guy. Guys, you got you know I love the red eyes, especially in this artwork, and I don't have any retro pack red eyes, so this is. This means a lot to me outside of just this series. Will it find its way in my deck? Probably not, just because Dark Condition has the same like tribute cost, but it's stronger. But you know, maybe I can sacrifice 100 attack points for the red eyes. Y'all, I, I think I pull well. I pull well. Um, the big winner here is Fisher. I mean, Time Wizard. But uh, getting another copycat and red eyes, I just have more options now. This is gonna be a good episode. All right, time for me to open up my retro packs. You guys don't wanna know what I went through to get my hands on these, but um, know that I did get them. Based off of what happened last time, I would say the main things I'd like to pull are, first of all, a giant rat. I still don't have any way to use my earth cards. And maybe like if I can get more tune stuff, that's a strategy that I would not be opposed to at least trying out for an episode. I know tunes can be kind of inconsistent, but like, they're special summons, so I can actually summon Toon Summon Skull and Toon Mermaid pretty easily. All right, so we have our four packs. <gasps> there it is, my giant rat. Everything's good now, I don't even have to see the rest of the pack. And a Toon Summon Skull. Is this pack trying to tell me something? Three tunes in a row? Toon World, okay, good. So I can actually maybe try out something with Toons. I only had one Toon World before this. This actually makes two. So it's still a bit of a risk, but if I can get a third one, then we're really cooking. Ooh, Summon Skull. Finally, I have a reliable Tribute Summon. I have needed this. Graceful Charity Rare. 
not bad draw power. I feel like in this format, you know, it's there's nothing like super great to send to the graveyard per se, but my deck does have Monster Reborn, so that's like a use. And just in general, digging three cards deep is is huge. So yeah, I won't say no to a Graceful Charity. Right Arm of the Forbidden One Rare. Uh, not very useful for this series, but pretty cool if you're just playing Exodia. I can give it to Alec. He actually has a, the, uh, the Forbidden deck, like the Grandpa deck that I just released in the TCG, so maybe he can make use of this. Not too shabby. I didn't really get too many foils this time around, but I did get a Summon Skull, so I can't complain. And Graceful Charity helps. Giant Rat helps. I'm feeling pretty good. I can actually start to take my deck in different directions now. So uh, I will be getting right to that. It's crazy how 1500 is still the number. Like we have no monsters bigger than that. We like we haven't pulled any of the secrets. So 1500 is the best you can do. Uh, to throw or not to throw. Hmm. So somebody actually informed me that in episode one, I was actually running four MSTs. I don't know if you knew that, but I read that in a comment. I apologize. I did not do it on purpose. I promise I was not trying to cheat. It's not like it really ended up winning me the game anyway, but I, I know that now, so I will not make that mistake. So say hello to the newest additions to my deck. Thunder Dragon, which I technically was running in episode one, but it didn't really work out that well, and Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. I literally overlooked these cards, but I realized something. Since polymerization is easy to get, as long as I see one Thunder Dragon, I can pitch it, get two Thunder Dragons, and then suddenly I actually have a 2800 attack point monster, which is stronger than anything that I think either of us have pulled so far. And like, I don't know, it's it just, it's 28. That's huge. Guys, if you like Retro Rivals, you gotta make sure you let us know by liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment of what your favorite cards are in Retro Pack and what have you done with Retro Pack since it's come out. Without further ado, let's get to Duel. So I've changed my deck this episode. You'll be glad to know. I mean, I've kind of changed it. I mean, but... I've consolidated some things. I, I hope it should be more consistent. I hope it's I'm trying more consistent. to do new things. You might notice I have an extra deck duelist. I hate you. I have an extra deck, and I'm gonna be link summoning all over you. All right, we're gonna do a high roll. Roll four. Four. Okay, I rolled five. Your choice. I'm going first duelist. Draw for turn. I'll start with Upstart Goblin. I'll give you a few life points. You'll need them. I'll set a card face down. One more face down. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn. I'll also activate Upstart Goblin. Oh, you're starting with an Upstart? Draw Getting a card. A, uh, a good Upstart to the game. Let's play my Shining Angel in attack position. I'll enter battle. Battle has been entered, Duelist. Shining Angel, attack. You attack the giant germ. Mm. It's destroyed, it'll deal 500. Won't hurt too much, you gained 1,000. And I can summon up to two giant germs from my deck. I'll just be getting one this time. I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. I draw the list. We'll set, switch to defense, and pass. Draw for turn. Normal summon, Shining Angel. Two of them, huh? Both okay. of them. Shining Angel, attack the face down. You attacked the newest member of my deck, the giant rat. Oh, I'm gonna With take 50. 1450 defense, okay. you take 50 life point damage. And I'm gonna take a little bit more damage when I attack Giant Germ. Giant Germ is destroyed. You'll take 500, but I don't have another one to summon. I'll pass there. I'll draw for turn. I'll switch my giant rat rat to attack position. I'm attacking the Shining Angel team. But what if I let that through? So I'll activate Shining Angel in the grave. All right, I will use Giant Rat as well. So you'll be summoning your monster first. Copycat. Giant Rat. Wow. Copycat's effect activates on summon, target a monster you control, and now my attack becomes equal to your attack. Oh, and defense. Oh, so, ooh, a defense too? Yes. It's 1400, but that's not a problem for me, because I can still attack it with the Giant Rat. That's right. We'll both be destroyed. And that means that my giant rat can summon another monster to the field. The Amazonist Chain Master. And she's gonna attack your Shining Angel. Shining Angel effect? We'll get another copycat. Wow, okay. Copycat's effect activates and I will copy your attack and defense. Main phase two, I'm gonna set a card phase down in my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon Mahavilo. Let's equip Mahavilo with the Axe of Despair. 
Oh boy. Mahavilo attacks Amazonas Chainmaster. And I'll use my Amazonas Chainmaster's effect. Let's take a look at your hand, Duelist. I get a monster from it. You have Giant Trunade, Black Illusion Ritual, and Hain Hain. Well, yes. I'll be taking your Hain Hain. And then I'll have my copycat attack Darthly for 1500. And I will end my turn there. I draw. I don't want to do it, but I'll give you a thousand life points to draw another card. I appreciate it. It's temporary. We'll set this card face down. Not the Hain Hain? Interesting. I mean, what's that going to do for me? <laughs> <laughs> Set, pass. Draw for turn. Let's activate Giant Trunade. Normal Summon sends you the thousand hands. Oh, I know what you're yeah, going searching for. Searching for a ritual monster. Oh no. Here comes Relinquish. We're going to activate the Black Illusion Ritual. We're going to tribute. Actually, send you is weaker than Copycat. Yeah. Yeah, it does have less attack. For Relinquished, yeah. we'll use Relinquished's effect to take control of your face now. Let's equip my Maha Vilo once again with the Axe of Despair. I'll attack you directly for 3,050. Oh, jeez. And then I'll attack for 1,500. And then in main phase two, I'll set one card phase down, and I'll pass turn. Okay, I draw for turn. Mystical Space Typhoon on this face down card. You destroy my seven tools of the bandit. We'll set this card face down. Set one, two, Monster Reborn. I'm going to summon a monster from one of our graveyards. Let's summon the copycat. And I'm gonna target Maha Vilo. Now I'm only gonna gain its original attack, unfortunately. Yes. I'm gonna attack your copycat. Your mood was. Draw for turn. Relinquish will attack your copycat. Hmm. Oh, that'll kill me. Darn, good game. Yes. I forgot, yeah, I take the damage from Relinquish, the battle damage. I will always love Monster Reborn. This card is just kind of a staple, a classic. It's great because this is like, it gets you out of so many pinches. In a format where you're pretty much only normal summoning, I am trying to fill my deck with more and more little special summons that can at least stop like, oh, they trap hold my monster. It's okay, I've got something else I can do. It's tough because there's not always a good card to summon with it. It, but I mean, sometimes you just need anything. Only problem is if you try to summon back a floater and it gets destroyed in battle, then they get the effect, so. You know him, you love to hate him, Relinquish. This is my guy. I think it's the only ritual monster in this set. And even if there were more ritual monsters from that era of Yu-Gi-Oh, this is still the only ritual you'd ever play. You know me, I like to play aggressive. And even if I'm just taking face down monsters, I'll do it. I'll do it in a heartbeat. Me, me and Relinquish, uh, we're like this. I'm going first this time, Duelist. You got lucky. Nah, that wasn't luck. That was all skill. I'm gonna start off activating a new card. Oh. Somewhat. Thunder Dragon. I discard it from my hand to add up to two Thunder Dragons from my deck to my hand. We'll set this card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. With my two Thunder Dragons in my hand, they're waiting to- I wish I could say I'm worried. I will, in true Alec fashion, normal summon Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts, because I hate setting on my first summon. Gazelle, No brains attack. all brawn. You attack my giant germ. And I'm gonna summon another pair this time, because last time I bricked. I'll pass there. Draw duelist. I'll tribute my giant germ for the summon skull. Oh, that's a real monster. monster. And next, because it doesn't quite end there, polymerization. What is happening? I use my thunder dragons to form twin-headed thunder dragon. What is this, dark duel stories? Yes. <laughs> summon skull, attack. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. That'll take beasts. a thousand. Then I'll attack you directly with the for giant germ thousand. for another thousand. Please. And then finally, the twin-headed thunder dragon attacks you for 2,800. <laughs> wow. All right. I know you Draw for turn. All right. I'm going to set and set. Pass. Draw. I'll start by using Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down card. I'll chain my Mystical Space Typhoon targeting your Mystical Space Typhoon. Well, that's Negate. fine, Duel. Yeah, they're both <laughs> negated. What could you have set down there? I mean, I don't think there's, there's no one card that deals with this. Normal summon the Mystic Tomato. And that doesn't deal with that either. I'll enter the battle phase. Summon Skull attacks your face down monster. You hit my Shining Angel. You get a Shining Angel. Oh, he's been attacking me. Oh. Darn. What? You know, what? what? I, don't, I don't know the problem. Mystic Tomato attacks. There it is. They're both destroyed. Shining Angel both effect. Use their effects. 
my mystic tomato. And my copycat. I use copycat's effect to copy the attack and defense of your twin-headed thunder dragon. Yeah, a smart move, but I can still, unfortunately, attack with a twin-headed yeah. thunder dragon. Giant germ is gonna attack you for a thousand. Yep. And mystic tomato for 1400. Yeah, that's fair. Your move. <sighs> Try. Man, I was hoping to win with that twin-headed thunder Boy, dragon. I'm so upset. <laughs> Let's normal summon Jiraigamo and equip him with the Axe of Despair. Oh, okay. Yeah. For a second, I thought you were gonna summon another copycat. Like, that would which, actually suck. That would have been that would have been pretty decent here. But we'll do thirty two hundred attack Jiraigamo. That feels that feels pretty decent. Declare attack on summon Skull. We're gonna call Tails. Heads, Heads, I lose half my life points, and then the attack goes through. Your turn. I draw. I have enough life points to survive. Enter battle. Oh, the you giant right. germ attacks the Jirai Gumo. I know, he burns me for 500. Although I do take 1200 damage, you get burned for 500. Oh, man. Giant Germ is like a mixed card. It's pretty good, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like that it kind of it makes two copies of itself. It deals a little damage. It's tricky though, because it's not actually all that strong. And if you don't have anything to tribute summon after you get these two extra ones in the field, it's like not amazing. So I'm mixed on this. He's like, he's on probation. We'll see if it stays in the deck. Copycat. Guys, I, ha I had one last week, but we didn't really see it. I didn't run the Shining Angels, so I didn't really have a light engine last week. But this week, we got a second copy. So so we put the Shining Angels in. This guy can just copy the attack and defense of any monster on my opponent's board. It can even do it off of a special summon. This is gonna be stuck in my deck, guys. I'm gonna be playing this forever. It's gonna be used defensively and aggressively all series long, and this will be an integral part of me wrenching this series out of Paul's grasp. All right, Duelist, are you ready? Game three. But we get here faster every episode. Yeah, I really thought these would be like <laughs> these would be Slow slower and games. They're not, not quite. Because somebody just goes, hand. I guess because there's not that many defensive tools. There's actually not. Like the floaters, floaters they look aren't defensive, enough. <laughs> but they're not actually all that defensive. All right, this time I'll go first. Draw. Are you ready to gain a thousand life points from my upstart goblin? I'll take it. And I get to draw a card. We'll set two and pass. Draw for turn, duelist. I'll just set a monster and pass. Draw for turn. Normal summon my gazelle, king of mystical beasts. Enter battle and attack. It's the giant rat. Good. One of the few monsters that can actually reliably swing over it. We'll get another giant rat to the field. Main phase two, flip summon man your bug Ooh, to destroy your giant rat. I had a feeling. Then I'll activate swords of revealing light and end my turn. I draw for turn. A three turn reward. Set a card, set another card, and pass. Draw for turn. Oh, he set the Yugi Boomers National Anthem. <laughs> Let's normal summon the giant rat. Gazelle attacks your face now. It is my man eater bug. Okay. I'll destroy the giant rat. So a giant rat for a giant rat. But my man eater bug will attack you directly for 450. And okay. I'll end my turn. I'm at 85.50. Second turn under swords. Turn two. I'm gonna set again your move. Draw. We're gonna play upstart, giving you another thousand so I can draw a card. Are you sure you wanna win this duel? Normal summon Mahavilo. Ooh. It's okay, I don't have an equip spell. But I do have Luminous Spark oh. to increase the attack of all of my light monsters by 500, but decrease their defense by four. Gazelle attack. It's the giant germ. Okay. Which the Maneater Bug could have actually swung over. You take 500 damage, I'll be summoning more Maneater Bugs from my deck. You mean giant germs. Giant germs from my that'd deck. That would be crazy if you did that. Yeah, they could <laughs> summon them face down. Two giant germs. Well, one of them is going to be attacked by my Maha Vila with 2050. Yeah, that's kind of the trouble with giant germ. It's like it does damage, but then. And I will pass there. Last turn of the swords. Last turn under, oh my God, I forgot to take this out of my deck. What? It's okay, it's just a card that's not that useful right now. <laughs> Like, That's what, all. What did he put it? There's a card that I was like, oh, I knew I was forgetting to take something out. This is that something. All right, well, if I can't attack anyway, we'll just have to play defense until then. Your move, say goodbye to the Swords of Revealing Light. I will, serve me well. Did it, you, I don't think Draw you're in any time. better position you were in than before. Okay, I say, we, we both believe different things, I get you. Let's normal summon my new beat stick. 
Shining Angel, who's gonna be yeah, 19 on this stick, field. Yeah. Hmm. Let's enter battle so that Bug can go out with a hurrah. Bug will attack Giant Germ. He has the last valuable attack he's probably getting. <laughs> well, you take 500. Maha Vilo attack the face down. It's Sangin. When Sangin's destroyed, I'll get to add a monster with 1500 or less attack. I'll what pathetic card can you search to save yourself? The card I'm getting is Kobe the Amazonist Bo. Chain oh. Master. That's fair. Shiny Angel attacks with 1900. And then Gazelle attacks with 1500. I will set one card face down and pass. I drew wrong. I'll normal summon my own Maha Vilo. And it'll gain 500 attack points as well. I'm gonna pay half my life points for Solemn, Solemn Judgment. Judgment. You monster. Yep, there goes your normal summon. Cost me mm. a lot, but I think, I think that's fair. I think it's fair. I've fair gone trade. through a lot of cards here. But did you anticipate the monster reborn? But well, once you like checked your grave, I was like, it's probably. Yes. I target my Maha Vilo and uh, special summon it to the honestly, field. Honestly, if it forced out the monster reborn, I'm cool with it. Let's equip it with the Axe of Despair. Ooh. Which That's means bad. it goes from 2050 to 3050, and then it gains 500 for its effect, so it's 3550. Maha Vilo is gonna attack your Maha Vilo, and now you can't get jump on me with an equip spell next turn. <laughs> your move duelist. Draw for turn. We're going to switch Mander Bug to defensive mode. I'll go to battle. Shining Angel attacks my. Oh, that won't even do. Yeah, because I'm 3550, so if you attack, yeah, you'll lose the duel. I'll lose the duel. We're going to main phase two. Everybody, everybody just. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wall up. Yeah. Lock you know, in. You too. Everybody just pass. This is the one weakness with Maha Milo is it gets to the field and they just go total defense. <laughs> just like, turn it up, guys, until we can find a play. Well, that doesn't mean I have to let you defend completely. Normal summon the Amazon is chain master. Amazon's Chainmaster is gonna attack Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. My strongest monster. And then Maha Vila will attack the Mater Bug. Your move. Draw for turn. Normal summon, Time Wizard. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're here. That's right. I want to activate Time Wizard's effect. All right, we have I'll our call It tails. really does come down to this. Yes! Tails, no! Destroyed your board. All right, Angel, back to attack position. Enter battle. Battle injured. Attack with 1,900 and attack with 1,000. I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. I draw. We're gonna use Upstart Goblet. I don't wanna give you any life points, but at this rate, I need to get a good draw myself. If I hadn't used my Upstart so many times at this point, you probably, you would yeah, be just about been out of here. Normal summon the Mystic Tomato. Mystic Tomato is going to attack the, the time wizard. Main phase two, I'll use Fissure. I'll end my turn. Draw! Well, Duelist. Got any other Flip cheap summon hand to, hand. Oh, okay. We're gonna send that tomato back to your hand. I know my hand hand will get swung on for it, but I have no problem with that. Enter battle, attack for 450. Pass. Draw! Normal summon Mystic Tomato again. Attack the Hain Hain. I set a card face down, your move. Draw for time. Normal summon, Jiraigamo. I'm entering battle. And you know what I gotta do, right? Yeah. I gotta flip a coin okay. and call it. I'm calling heads. No. No damage, but you'll take damage. Okay, so you're 14, okay, so I take 800. <laughs> Mystic Tomato's destroyed, I'll use its effect. It just has to summon another Mystic Tomato. All right, you get to cut my deck duelist. Give me something good. There's one card I'm hoping to draw right now. Hopefully if you I do, don't. It'll turn this duel around, I draw. Switch Mystic Tomato Defense, set a card, your move. Draw! Jiraigamo, attack. All right, call it. I'm calling heads. Tails, ah. so you will lose half your life points for this attack. Mystic Tomato's destroyed, I have no more targets. Main phase two, I'll set a card face down, and I'll end my turn. I draw. First, I'll use the Mystical Space Typhoon. Which face down card do I want to go after, though? I couldn't tell you. They're all pretty good Let's to me. Let's hit this. This one here? Something feels good about it. Get my seven tools. Not actually what I wanted. Normal summon, the Maha Vilo. Ooh. Ew. Wait, don't tell. Okay, let's see. Next, I'll equip the Axe of Despair. Math thing, let's go space after. Oh no. Oh god. I'm surprised you didn't do it when I attacked. Back to you, duelist. All right. Draw for time. Jiraigamo, attack Maha Vilo. We're calling heads. Tails, Tails again. Paying half again. But Maha Vilo is destroyed. I take 150. I will pass there. All right, deck. I need you. Show me some love. Perfect. 
Perfect. Ah, oh, here we go. I drew the card that might spell your demise. Bring it on. I activate Thunder Dragon, and I'll discard it from my hand to add two more Thunder Dragons oh to my, my hand. Oh my god! And I promise you, we didn't rig this for video. We, there are no, in, in fact, for the editor, don't include any cuts in that part. I drew this card. I add two Thunder Dragons and to you're, my you're hand. Holding the you're holding the poly. And aren't now, you? for the very first card I set this duel. Oh! Polymerization. Wow! It wasn't even the one in his hand. I use my two Thunder Dragons to make my new fusion monster the twin headed Thunder Dragon. This is why they use it in those Forbidden Memory speed runs. Yes, it's actually the best fusion monster in the entire game, entire set. And thanks to your Luminous Spark, I'm even gaining 500 more attack points. That's insane. It's time to enter the battle phase. Just one more of those coin flips could have went in my favor. I attack Jirai Gumo to deal 1,100 damage and end this duel. Yes! Ugh. This was it. This, this was the card that I, I left in, in my deck from the, the, the last episode. Time wizard, because if I don't run it, who will, right? I mean, <laughs> it can destroy your opponent's entire board or can destroy your whole board. And that, you know, that doesn't feel good, but hey man, it's a walking dark hole. You gotta take some risks in life and I'm more than willing to take them. You know, a good game, you good won game. our top deck battle. Well, well thanks. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Well played. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Retro Rivals. Probably the most intense game three yet. Yeah, that, was, that went, especially since the first two were so fast, it feels. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, game three is gonna be sacky. No, it went down the no, wire. Was, that, that went a long way. That means the record now stands 2-1 to oh, us. Gosh. You're gonna have to make it up somehow next I'm, time. Guys, I'm gonna get there. I don't care what Paul says. I'm going to get there. Remember, I just need, I just need some more time, more packs. First five wins. That's right, guys. So stay tuned for more retro rivals make sure to give us a like comment what your favorite play was or what your favorite car from the set is i know i said this before or what you'll probably comment what your uh favorite misplay was because i'm sure that's true i mean it. there's gonna be plenty you just done yeah. good games and we'll see you guys next time past, past turn, turn.